Hello again, friends and fam, and welcome to another episode of the Tory Sessions Let's Talk About It vlog. I am always so excited to hear from you. I want to welcome you again and say, rest assured you have come to the right place with your questions and concerns. So let's jump right into it. My letter comes today from a friend who wishes to remain anonymous. She is looking for some answers regarding a relationship that has only been active through text message dialogue. So for our viewers, let's recap. You have been dating a really nice guy. Your guy friend is witty, thoughtful, open, and consistent, and sends text messages that are funny and flirty. The two of you have only conversed via text message. You have never met in person, but you would really like to take the next step in this relationship and meet face to face, but he has been elusive on this topic. You both work for the same company. He outranks you, but is not your supervisor. You want to know if you should continue the relationship in this vein until he agrees to meet you face to face, if ever, or move on. You signed your letter going crazy. First, may I say, you did a really great job of explaining the context of your relationship with this person. Your perception of who he is, which is based completely on your text messaging, sounds great. But if we were to put things in a little clearer context, we would then have to say that he has constructed a pretty positive image of himself for your reading pleasure through the text message that he sends you approximately 30 times per day, as you stated in your letter. Your perception is the interpretive process of how you organized and categorized the information that Mr. Elusive, we will call him for now, has provided throughout the course of your relationship based on your past experiences in life. This says to me, he has remained in the safety zone of inoffensive behavior. However, it is important to note and understand here that perception is always viewed through the lens of life, so to speak, and not a window. In order, in other words, lens cue, cue us into a propped moment in time as opposed to the all encompassing truth and reality of the frozen image set before our eyes. And although picturesque, it may also be quite deceptive in terms of the backdrop. So likewise, in this case, much like a stage portrait, the words in a text message may be beautifully constructed to portray a smart, witty, thoughtful, funny, flirty imagery for the reading audience. The reality may also be something quite different. Although you have never met him personally, you feel he has been truthful in his self-disclosure, which is always helpful in advance in a relationship to the next step. And you have obviously been warm and accepting of his disclosure because studies have shown a negative response made to a genuine self-disclosure can instantly terminate a relationship, which indicates he has no plans for bringing closure, at least in the near future, because he is comfortable with the warm way you have reciprocated to his self-disclosure. According to Psychology Today, social network users tend to rely more on self-disclosures to create a sense of closeness because they do not receive verbal and nonverbal cues that would be otherwise exchanged in face-to-face -face communication, such as the communication that you're now desiring from him. The genuineness of information exchanged online or via text message in this case is always suspect, thus forcing you to spend more time verifying information from your online or cell phone counterpart. Once veracity has been established, the lack of a physical presence increases the probability of more intimate disclosures online, leading to the illusion of a close relationship and likewise increases the intensity of the disappointment when a relationship goes wrong. However, despite it all, I applaud you as you apparently have been listening mindfully, which encourages you to be aware of the present moment and let go of distractions and your physical and emotional reactions to what people say to you. When you're not mindful, however, you can be distracted by your own thoughts, desires, and worries and fail to see and hear what other people are doing and saying. Because you are writing in with your story today, it is safe to assume you have not been consumed and that you realize these circumstances as they are must change for a more realistic perspective on what you or who you are conversing with. You must look through the window now, which is to see and hear the real person and story, 
not the text message image that's been presented in the past. I would encourage you at this point to express your very valid concerns to this person. Ask him to agree to a date and a time for a public and personal meeting. If he agrees, then straight ahead to the next phase of your relationship. But if he remains elusive, I would strongly recommend that you bring closure to this relationship and move on in your life. I hope this information has been helpful. And thank you again for writing to Tori Vlog. Let's talk about it. That brings this week's session to a close. If you have a question or would like to hear our response, to your questions, please log in to torivlog.org for more information on how to send in your questions. I hope you have been enlightened and I look forward to our next gathering. This is Tori Vlog saying good night to all.